this is going to be a long year for Democrats. I don't know why they thought they can get away with a whole ass genocide and thought they can come out here talking about, hey, we for human rights. Oh, we got to stop Trump. Oh, come on, we got to vote. Dem-. You guys really think that was going to happen? And we're seeing this over and over and over again. So let's watch this. This is, a, this is Joe Biden. Yeah, when are you in the Bruh, this is why I can't be the one doing this. You see that piece of shit behind her pulling her down back into her seat? I told you guys, this is why I'm not, I don't have the temperament, man. I don't have the temperament because I will start throwing hands, bro. Like, this is the kind, bro. What are you do? What are you doing grabbing me? Like this, you guys don't want me at the face of the movie because I would do, I would lose my shits on uh, at a point like this. I don't know. Like you guys see how unhinged this genocidal psychosis that swept. They're not. This is not the. This is not a Republican convention. This is not CPAC. <laughs> this is not a Tea Party convention. This is not the Proud Boys. These are Jill Stein support. Uh, not Jill Stein. Joe Biden. God damn. Sorry, Joe Stein. Joe <laughs> Biden. This is Joe Biden supporters. The average unhinged Joe Biden supporter attacking yeah, that's... anti-genocide protesters. Go ahead, Andrew. Yeah, that's oh. not security. They're just bootlickers. Yeah. They're just regular fucking who I don't know who I, I I don't know if I even want to call them regular. They're they're you're I mean you're very right to call it like mass psychosis. It I don't even know how to you know address it. I don't even know how to um how to try even begin to try to fix this problem other than like if you know somebody who's glued to the news all day bring them out of their fucking house like don't don't even, i wouldn't even i wouldn't even like try to necessarily show them something else because you see these people waving goodbye to this lady as she's getting pulled out of the um out of this event for just doing the bare minimum right thing which is speaking up uh you see this lady waving goodbye like you can't reach that woman talking to her you you have to i mean if you have like i'm sure everybody has like family people you are up and are hearing the same you know chorus of propaganda repeated but i mean i, I would just say, I, don't, I don't even know what to do other than to just yes call it psychosis and get these people help get them outside this is one of the moments where we said who who people is this who mans is this who people are these these are, our, these are my people like this one saying, this during this genocidal psychosis, why are people allowing this shit to slide? You know what I mean? And this is the uncomfortable conversation a lot of people don't want to have. Like there's a lot of people, there's a lot of conversation about like the age gap. People talk about, oh, the Muslims want to support Palestine. Why is no one talking about the fact? Not and, and I tweeted this story out uh, earlier how black and Latino Democrats are rebelling over Gaza. So yeah, and if you look at the amount of Americans who support a ceasefire. You have a large amount of black and brown Americans, while white America in a larger number than youth uh, versus boomer support Zionism. You have these violent genocidal Karens who's willing to protect their ill-guided generational wealth in their colonial project by any means necessary, even if it means killing killed uh, children overseas and assaulting uh, activists over here. This is Insanity. Yeah, once again, this is why I'll fucking start. I'll start throwing hands here. There's another protest I saw at uh, this guy was at Apple. He said the same thing. He was getting attacked. But before I show that one, here's Christian uh, Jill uh, Brand. Um, Palestinian protesters, NYC, see the difference between older folk and the younger generation. Seems like the brainwashing is wearing off on the younger generations. So there's a certain percentage of these boomer motherfuckers. They pay to see Joe uh, Biden in the first place, but they are so attached to defending established power that they are willing to attack people who call out politicians. <laughs> like, and I'm I'm one of those I'm one of those people that if I catch you doing this in real life, lose my number. Like. There's no way I'll be okay with people that that protect power at this uh, to the point where they waving off a, a genocide protester. If I was there, if I was even part of the protest, let's say I'm a normie and I see some person protesting, just I'll let them talk, <laughs> let them talk, right? 
But I guess that's why I'm not a normie because I feel that way. But let, this is Christian Gillibrand. Before we get to the main event, uh, this is another one because none of these Democrats are safe. None of them are safe. So let's show let's show this video before I dive in. Gillibrand, how can you say that you represent New Yorkers when seventy percent of this country demands a ceasefire in Gaza? When 45% of New Yorkers demand a ceasefire, when 53% of New Yorkers do not want to say You see how angry these white people are getting? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's keep it every single fucking time. <laughs> it's a mob of these white people. Stop speaking out against genocide. Like, look, at this, look at this, look at this motherfucker's tongue. Look at that guy's tongue. <laughs> it's a very <laughs> pause, very tactical pause there. He's gonna he's gonna have uh, foam come out of his mouth in a second. Look at this motherfucker, bro! Like people will be so furious at me. Like I'm like persona non grata on Twitter. <laughs> like liberals, Bernie, uh, Bernie crap, social democrats, they all can't stand my ass, right? So whenever I see like these liberals seething in my comment section, this is exactly why I figure that they look like you know what I mean? <laughs> like the 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 shit lib that hate RB and the shit lib that hate people that talk about uh, against power. That's what it is. That's what you're seeing right here. So let's continue. The You can write a book about the reaction you'd be seeing from these people. This country demands a ceasefire in Gaza when 45% of New Yorkers demand a ceasefire when 53%... Shut up! We're trying to protect democracy, so shut the fuck up! Stop speaking out against power. We're trying to protect democracy. That's why stop, stop explaining how many people support a ceasefire. The exact opposite of what we're doing. We're trying to combat the authoritarian states, don't you know? We're here to combat authoritarianism, so we're here to silence our const our, constitu uh, our constituents as they mention the fact that most people are against what we're doing. But it's the Chinese Communist Party that's authoritarian. <laughs> now, I bet you, all these white people that are fucking furious with, with these protesters, those old white boomers you saw pulling at the protesters yelling at Joe Biden, I bet you every single one of them think China is an authoritarian country. <laughs> I bet every single one of them think Cuba is authoritarian as they silence protesters, as they create this fucking multi-tier society where you're not allowed to speak out against the ruling class. This is insanity to me. The idea that a public official, and this is how I think it's completely contrary to how most people in the West think. Because this is, you guys see how it's common. Like, it's common, yeah. He, they interrupted the event. Fucking get him out of here, of course. To me, this shouldn't even be legal. Fuck you mean? You are a public official. I understand, and my argument is weaker if I talk about private events, you know what I mean? If I were to say that, like, Steve Jobs or someone can't, like, kick out someone. If I can't say, if I say, like, Elon Musk can't kick someone out of, like, their, his private a space has to meet. And then, yeah, my argument is a little weaker there, right? But if you're a public official on public tax paradigm, how, how is it legal for this to happen? It's legal because the ruling class will write the laws. The laws don't come from the will of people, which is authoritarianism. RB is the only channel that can actually define that term. Anyway, let me continue this. I, I get angry when I watch this. Uh, I already interrupted this, so no reason to be interrupted again. Uh, I'll play all the way through before I chime in. Gillibrand, how can you say that you represent New Yorkers when 70% of this country demands a ceasefire in Gaza? When 45% of New Yorkers demand a ceasefire? When 53% of New Yorkers do not want to send Israeli funding or military aid anymore? Gillibrand, you received $366,000 from pro-Israel lobbies in this past election cycle. Why are you allowing your interests to be bought by foreign governments? Yeah, we're sending stop, billions of our taxpayer stop, dollars to kill children and women. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> stop, stop, people stop, stop. Have the money. I'm sorry. I, I'll break there. I'll break in there. That is, <laughs> that is something else. I'm going to let it continue. But holy shit. Oh my God, that's fucking crazy, fam. Let's play that again because I don't want to stop it too long. I just had to emphasize this part again. <laughs> Whose man is that? Whose father is that? 
Whose grandpa is that? Get your fucking grandpa somebody. What is this? We're in government. Yeah, we're sending stop. of our tax. Stop. 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 Kill children and stop. Stop. 30, stop. people stop. 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 have the money to correct these historic stop. wrongs? I'm sorry, guys. That is probably top five funniest shit I've seen this year. You uh, watch it one more. Let's watch it one more time, and I'll let it continue. That's fucking hilarious. Stop! Stop! You making me? Stop! 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 If you took the money the that you had given to Israel, the fifteen billion dollars you gave to Israel of our taxpayer money, <laughs> you are lying. Well, I'm, I'm to glad the on camera. I'm fucking crying right now. Yeah. <laughs> when you said it's the one that has been consistently declining the ceasefire, twenty-five-year-old Aaron Russell gave up his life and he believed his last words were free Palestine, and you. Oh my god, we've talked about this strategy before. Bro, I'm fucking crying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That guy's gonna be such a good meme. You Bro, Aaron, we need that. Aaron, if you listen to this, our our dear editor, I need that clip. That's fucking amazing. Morning, I wake up and I see <laughs> Palestinians dying day after day after day after day, body after body after body, with our taxpayer dollars funding it. How many Palestinian children need to be killed before you call for a ceasefire? You have blood on your hands. My people deserve to leave. My people deserve to leave. You have I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this part one more time. I want, I want the video to play all the way through. I gotta compose myself, bro. I'll fucking, I'm glad my camera is off, bro. I'll fucking cry and laugh and listen to that shit. But you, this that is the strategy that we endorse. This is the strategy we see our dear friend Jose Vega and his organization do. And I'm glad that more and more people are starting to replicate it. The strategy of, uh, since you're not being a lone wolf, you go in there spread out and you all have your message. You all come at the same time. You guys see how these white liberal voters can't stand it. Like this strategy is so effective. <laughs> they literally stop, stop, stop. Yeah, it's pouring yeah, acid on his fucking on. brain. They're, they're everywhere. <laughs> they're everywhere. <laughs> you see his wife too or whoever the lady sitting next to him? She was like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Don't. Oh my God, bro! You we're know gonna be on the, we're gonna be on the internet, honey. Cut it out. I don't want to be on TikTok. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> you know she go through this shit all the time. Uh, <laughs> Come on, please don't be on start. Please, please don't give. Um, here you go again. <laughs> Sorry, I had to watch this part again. I had to watch. It. Look no, at her face. Play it. Play it. <laughs> this motherfucker have given her hell for God knows how many years. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I was the first time. Blood pressure video. medication. <laughs> but that shit is fucking funny, bro. You can't write that shit. 